Well, Flo Clorothers joins us uh, on the phone. We're talking about winter damage. Welcome to the programme. Good morning. Good morning, Phil. Hi. Right, so uh, winter damage in your house, and uh, a lot of us uh, don't necessarily uh, realise how much uh, damage can be done. And I know that one of your um, uh, results in uh, some research you did showed that uh, we could be out of pocket by maybe as much as 20k to get ourselves back uh, and sorted if we have damage. Is that sort of an average figure then often? Well, the research that we've conducted at M&S Money reveals that the number of home insurance claims as a result of winter weather has risen by 200% over the last three years. And the total cost of damages now for both uninsured and insured properties exceeds $600 million per year. Well, um, yes. I think the ones that you're talking about there, the average cost now for a claim for a burst pipe is at £25,000, Phil. Gosh, and it can do so much damage, obviously, in such a short space of time. And um, often I know that um, from some of your research, it shows that um, some of our insurance cover is possibly not valid because we haven't done things properly like, um, for example, leave the, the heating on when you're out for a, a, a weekend or something? Absolutely. So what, what we would recommend for your listeners is to make time over the next few weeks to check that your homes are in a good state of repair and ready for winter. Just simple things like carrying out basic maintenance to, that can prevent damage from occurring should the worst happen and ensure that you know, a claim is valid on your home insurance. Yes, and uh, what sort of things, you know, are the key things that we need to remember? I mean, you won't think of them all now, but I've mentioned that one about keeping the heating on. Uh, why do we do that? Um, we do that because the pipes won't freeze up then, basically. It's pretty obvious, isn't it? <laughs> but, I mean, uh, what are the other key things that you can think of yourself um, that um, we should remember to do? I break it into two parts, Phil. So if we think about the winter weather and, and the freezing conditions, you know, last, last winter was unprecedented for the past 30 years, the, yeah. the cold snap that we experienced. So certainly I would recommend leaving the heating on at a, a minimum of 13 degrees and, as you quite rightly say, to stop those pipes from freezing. I think it's important that your listeners understand where their stopcock is so in, in a case of an emergency that they can turn off the water quickly. And even, you know, to the extent of... If you've got a loft hatch in your home, open that up. Let the warm air circulate, particularly if you've got a water tank in the loft. On the basic maintenance side of things, Phil, I would recommend you know, checking roofs for loose tiles that can be dislodged in a heavy, heavy wind that could create some damage, uh, insulating pipes. And finally, if you have any trees or plants growing close to the home, that if branches were to come off in a, in a gale situation, that they've been pruned back. Yeah, OK. And how do we find out more information about it, then, Flo? If any of your listeners would like any more information, I would, I would ask them to uh, visit marksandspencer.com forward slash insurance. All right. Well, thank you very much for the chat this morning. Cheers now. Thank you.